Thanks to our sponsors supporting the event tonight, but we're on to our next match. Hobson Mora and Barrett Yoshida. Great experience. Uh, tough to tell from here. Actually, that's that's an interesting point. I was wondering how this match was going to play out in Gi, given that a lot of the competition Barrett's been doing of late has been in no Gi. And Hobson looking to pass here as Barrett inverts early. This is probably the match I've been looking forward to most. I really want to see if uh, Hobson, can, Hobson can pass his guard and how he does it. Yeah, it's just crazy to see legends like this. Hobson Moore considered by many as the best light featherweight of all time, and they're on the undercard here at Polaris too. That's just a <laughs> testament to the absolute stack talent we have on show tonight. Yeah, eight world champions hits in total for Hobson Moore. Five of those in the black belt division. 37 years old, started training at age 10. <laughs> he is representing the Hobson Moore Nova Uniao Academy. Barry Yoshida representing Arena MMA in San Diego, California. Originally from Hawaii. Tight head control with that lapel for Hobson Mora here. Oh, nice recovery by Barry. This is this guard is unbelievable. I certainly think the grips are going to have something to do with Hobson's success, if he can pull it off. But Barrett looking comfortable on the bottom here in the opening couple of minutes. Big back step from Mora. Inching his way low to the mat. Barrett seems to have his left foot back in it already. What a fantastic <laughs> pass from Hobson Mora's crowd. Rightly appreciative. Barrett looking to invert, but you can see Hobson got his trying to get his hips back in. Yeah. Again, Hobson really looking to use that gi grip around the head to his advantage. Barrett Yoshida with the recovery. Barrett's been jumping back in the submission-only competition circuit quite a lot lately. Got to the semi-final of the fourth Eddie Bravo Invitational recently and actually lost that <coughs> match to a man we're going to see later tonight, Eddie Cummings. Was that an armbar victory or...? <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, say heel hook on that one. But Hobson with quite an upright posture here, Barrett with... That right leg hooked inside. Barrett's been very open in saying in all of his training, he doesn't really ever worry about points. All of his training and rolling has been submission only for such a long time. And looking to put his grips to use here. Hobson again playing with that lapel. That's an uh, interesting grip there he has the, on, with his left hand grabbing uh, Hobson's belt. I'm not. Is he trying to sweep him to his right or is he going to try and climb up and attack? Oh, we're back to full guard now. Let's see if he keeps the grip over the top. Looking to work the lapels here. Pretty similar in age. 40 years old for Barrett Yoshida, 37 for Hobson Mora. Nice to see the more mature gentleman still, still in there, kicking ass. Barrett really starting to climb that guard high now. How difficult can it be for the man stuck inside when uh, the bottom player gets his legs right up that high? Well, it's uh, more difficult in the gi, I think, to slip through and shuffle them shoulders forward just because of all the extra friction. Yeah, with Barrett's uh, aggressive <coughs> triangle game, Hobson really has to watch his P's and Q's in this position. Yeah, Barrett known for... A lot of triangles, a lot of arm bars. Nicely done. Nice tight half guard position now to try and pass again. 
again, Barrett just gets his, his hips and his legs back inside. <laughs> I mean, you've got to wonder, even if Hobson's successful in passing his guard, he managed to, to establish a bit more of a dominant position, is he going to actually be able to, to force uh, an opening to submit him, or is that just going to allow the guard recovery again? It's going to be hard, but certainly the gi will, I think, help. And I don't know, I don't think Barrett does a huge amount of gi competition. Certainly not too much of late. Made his mark on the ADCC circuit. Three ADCC medals, in fact. For Barrett Ishida. So as we approach nine minutes left in our third bout of the evening here at Polaris Pro 2. Hobson Mora continually looking to pass. Very deft guard of Barrett Ishida, and he does so now. Look at his the arm. step over I thought for a moment that was on yeah really hitchhiking his way out of the initial armbar attempt it was exactly what we said Hobson knew that as soon as he passed the guard he had to go for something there just wasn't the time to sit and think and the referee is going to try and restart them in a very awkward position back in the center of the mat. Okay. But what an escape. <laughs> see if Barrett looks for a, a toe here, perhaps. Will we get to see that uh, Hobson pose again when he's deep in a knee bar and just stares at people? <laughs> Yeah, fantastic match for Jeff Glover. I don't think there's a, any chance of either of these guys submitting to a leg lock. So Barrett again with his legs wrapped around Hobson, looking to come up on top here. I mean, Hobson got one initial transition in off that first armbar defense, but it was <coughs> tough to see from my angle how. Uh, how the rest of that scramble played out. I honestly thought Barrett Yoshida was going to have to submit there. I do think he'll probably be taking Diophene later on. There was to be a bit of a tweak on the elbow in that scramble. Well, we're in a bit of a static position here. Anyone would like to hazard, I guess, at a way out for either of these two gentlemen? Well, sometimes when you're in these more strange positions, you almost want to play a little bit safe because you don't know how well the other person knows the position. But the referee does have the power to stand it up if he does feel like it's a bit too much of a stalemate. Barrett does seem to have a plan. Yeah, body trying for him now. I mean, he instigated the position off his double under grip. Hobson with a, a cuff control here. <laughs> Looks like Barrett's contemplating a toe hold potentially well, Barrett with the body triangle doubtless he's uh, putting a decent squeeze on the torso of Hobson Mora here but Hobson unfazed as of yet oh, and I think we're gonna find a way out of this position here Barrett looking to maintain the body lock is Hobson gonna come out on top you got a guillotine on here? No, it's just a body lock. Here's Barrett going to look at the back of the crucible of sections. A lot of permutations, depending on who scrambles up first here. to get a grip of that in, that inside grip with his left hand on Hobson's wrist, otherwise he's going to lose that top position. <coughs> the ability to get on top, I think. Two thirds of this 70 kilo match gone. <laughs> Hobson Mora continually passing, certainly coming the closest to finishing. Barrett's at the establishing that wrist grip now. Uh, Hobson, well aware of it, of course, breaks it. 
goes back to it. That underhook so vital in maintaining control. <laughs> Hobson's left side. Looking for the collar now. Hobson's got a good area now. Well, Barrett's got a got an arm with his right leg. Let's see if he can get a full crucifix here. He's also got the leg entangled as well. He's gone back to the Kimura grip on the Mr. Kind of hard to see. Well, Hobson Mora may have had the better of it early on, but it's it's Barrett Yoshida with the attacks now. And you see that inside hook. Very nice work there, Candice. Almost came down. Yeah. I suspect we're going to see Barrett take a risk as the time ticks down. Try and pull out a special move. Looks like he has pressure with that armbar there. Certainly does, just across the hip. He's looking to edge his feet further out to the side. What's Hobson's first concern for defence here? Yeah, he's got to turn his right thumb down towards the mat so it's to take pressure off the elbow. Doesn't look too concerned, certainly staying very calm. Is he going back to the strangle? Thread of the collar always there, of course, as well as the arms. You see Hobson's grip with his left hand there. He's got that collar choke. Yes, that defended. Well, the momentum swinging both ways in this one. The tiny adjustments, the small grip changes. I think both of these gentlemen knowing the one tiny slip up could spell the end. But Barrett Yoshida's got three minutes to try and finish this one and avoid our first draw of the evening here at Polaris Pro 2. Josh Palmer, John Kavanaugh and Nick Osipchek bringing you all the action live on flowgrappling.com here from St. David's Hall in Cardiff. Yeah, maintaining this crucifix position well, obviously most of the fight being over this near side collar and near side arm. A top bar would have switched for the Kimura grip on that, on that near side arm here, but he's holding his lapel. I'm not sure what the technique is from here. It looks like he's managed to really extend Hobson's arms away from his body, but well. He still lost it. Yeah, Hobson might be up on a, a single here. Tough to see the grip around the head at the moment. Immediately looking to control the lapel and pass, and I think perhaps he wants a bit of payback for the last three or four minutes. Timer ticking down here. 145 left in this game match. Yoshida <laughs> again trying to employ a high guard with that outside leg. And he's got the grip on the lapel as well. That's going to really help him extend and keep Mora away from him. I think the rest of the match is going to play on this position unless Mora can um, try and hit that quick pass to Armbar again. He really did jump on that submission so quickly. I think the fact that he felt forced to do that is testament to some incredible guard work we saw from Barrett Yoshida early on in this match. Double shot, not pass. Last few moments here. Are we going to see our first draw of the evening here at Polaris Pro? Hobson Mora well and truly tied up in the close guard of Barrett Yoshida. I've got to be honest, I'm kind of glad we got to see 15 minutes of this because I think I'm at the learning a lot already from this and I'm looking forward to watching it back. What's the, the big significant takeaway for you here on this one? Well, the, that, that quick knee slide to armbar 
I really want to see the, how he was able to track him on the hitchhiker. Because when he hitchhiked out, Hobson did something with his legs in order to track it and end up belly down. Didn't finish it, but I'm uh, definitely going to study that one. Yeah, I think the bottom leg came over the top, and then I've got to say I lost track of it. These guys are scrambling so fast. The time runs out here. We go through to all Hobson Mora and Barrett Yoshida. What a fantastic 15 minutes that was. Hobson, I'll start with you, if I may. What a transition you put together there on that arm. Did you think you had him? Uh, you know, Berut is a tough guy, you know, and uh, so I had been following him for years. I knew I had to go to go for when I see a chance. I saw the arm in there. I thought, man, I got to. But again, like, you know, this guy, is on, he's on legend. Like, so I think I did my homework. Uh, so it wasn't like the supposed I planned, but you know I'm not fighting anybody. I'm fighting this guy, so uh, I'm going home and I'm happy for like the result. Hobson, you've been in the sport for a very long time. A lot of people know your fifth dan is coming up. What's it been like to travel here to Cardiff and compete on Polaris Pro? Oh, it's amazing. You know, and I really thank you, thank you Polaris, thank you Tatami. Uh, and thank all the UK people for like really making me feel home. Uh, that's what I like to do. I come here and uh, I try to put my game on and I'm have fun. I'm enjoy. So again, like I'm kind of a little sad right now, but I know when I go to my room, take a nice shower, and then see the whole fight, I'll be pretty proud about myself, and I'm gonna be happy. Well, thank you for putting on a great show, Hobson Mora, ladies and gentlemen. I'll move from one legend to another. Barrett Yoshida, Barrett, give us your thoughts on the fight. You were playing guard for most of this match. Yeah, um, Hobson is very, very technical. Um, you know, he's been doing just for so long. And when I was a, like a blue belt, and I remember, um, you know, they were all, they were the ones winning all the championships in the brown belts, and or you know, what I mean, and then black belts after that. You know, um, it's like really, really high level of technique. You've been doing a, a lot of competing recently in no gi. How was it for you moving over to submission only in the gi for this match? Um, I do gi and no gi every day, so if I with the gi, if I without the gi, it doesn't. I don't really care. <laughs> Have you enjoyed your trip here to Cardiff? Yeah, yeah. I, I like, I like it here. It's really, really nice. People are really nice. You know, um, everything's um, just so clean and yeah, it's beautiful here. Great stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for 15 minutes from these two legends, Hobson Mora and Barry Yoshida.